Welcome to this installation video one about how to efficiently do mechanical installation of the new generation Danfoss ICAT B actuator for motor operator valves type ICM and ICM TS and for pilot valve type CVE. The ICAT B installation is split into two small videos, which includes video one showing mechanical installation of ICAT B, including unpacking ICAT B, mounting new ICAT B O ring on valve top orientation and location of IKB and fixing IKB to the valve. Video 2 showing electrical installation of IKB including uses of IKB electrical data, cable connection to IKB and electrical power on of IKB. In these videos we'll give you important installation tips ensuring your safe and reliable system operation. So go ahead and check out the IKB installation video which will meet your needs. In this ICAT-B installation video 1, we will show you where to find the precautions related to mechanical installation of ICAT-B, which valves can be used with the different ICAT-B models, and what is included in the ICAT-B box when unpacking it. We will also show you how to mount a new ICAT-B O-ring on the valve top, how to orient and locate the ICAT-B correctly, and finally, how to mount and fix the ICAT-B on the valve top. When doing the mechanical installation of the ICAT-B, it is very important to pay special attention to the given precautions. Here you see listed these precautions, which you can also find in the ICAT-B installation guide, which is delivered with the ICAT-B and also available on danfoss.com. There are three types of ICAT-B actuators which can be used on three valve types and sizes. These are specified here. ICAT-600B, 5 cm 20 32 ICAT 1200B, 5SM40-250 and CVE, and ICAT 600B TS, 5CM TS 20-80. The mechanical mounting of the ICAT-B onto these valves is the same for all ICAT-B models. For more details, please check the ICAT-B datasheet and installation guide, which are available on danfoss.com. Here you see what is included in the box of the ICAT-B when you unpack it. As seen here, the box includes one piece ICAT-B, one piece ICAT-B installation guide, and one piece utility kit. As also seen, then the utility kit includes two dust caps for the ICAT-B to use for the cable connector sockets, which are not in use if this is the case. One piece O-ring to replace the standard O-ring and guide ring located on the valve top where the ICAT-B is to be mounted. And one piece Allen key to tighten the screws on the ICAT-B mounting clamps. The content is the same for all ICAT-B models. So let us start the procedure of mounting the ICAT-B on a motor operator valve. Here you see an image of the ICAT-B mounted on an ICM motor operator valve. In this video we demonstrate the ICAT-B mounting using an ICM25 function module located on the table as seen here and we mount the ICAT 600B model with display onto this ICM function module. However, as already mentioned, the mounting procedure is the same for all ICAT-B models and all suitable valves, and the mounting procedure is the same with a suitable valve already located in a refrigeration system. Before mounting the ICAT-B on the valve top, then we firstly need to mount the new O-ring onto the valve top. As mentioned earlier, this new O-ring is part of the utility kit supplied together with the ICAT-B. Therefore, do the following as illustrated here. If the PTFE ring and standard O-ring are mounted on the valve top, then remove these parts from the valve top by hand or by using a non-sharp tool. Ensure that any old grease on the valve top, including in O-ring and PTFE ring grooves, is fully removed. If there's any ice or moisture present on the valve top, then it must be removed. Such ice or moisture can be removed with an electrical hot air gun. After the ice or moisture removal by heater, then ensure that the valve top is totally dry. Carefully mount the new ICAT-B O-ring onto the valve top so that it is located in the first O-ring groove as specified here. When mounting the ICAT-B on the valve, then always ensure that the valve is installed in the system so that ICAT-B is pointing vertically upwards once mounted on the valve 
as illustrated here. As also illustrated, always ensure sufficient clearances around the valve and I can be to ensure that I can be can be easily mounted on the valve and removed again if needed. Before mounting the ICAT-B on the valve top, then rotate the two clamp screws counterclockwise with a 3mm allen key until they are fully loosened. Then carefully lower the ICAT-B onto the valve top in any rotational direction needed. The ICAT-B magnet coupling will drag the valve and ICAT-B together and in position. Finally, ensure that the ICAT-B is correctly aligned on the valve and fully pushed in place. Carefully rotate the two clamp screws clockwise with an allen key and tighten them firmly. Finally, ensure that the iCAT B is securely mounted and fixed on the valve top and ensure that there is no gap between the iCAT B and the valve. As mentioned earlier, you can find more iCAT B installation information on danfoss.com. If you scan the QR code shown here, then you get to the Danfoss ICAT-B site specified here. You can then access relevant documents such as the ICAT-B datasheet and installation guide as illustrated here. You have now completed the mechanical installation video for the new generation Danfoss ICAT-B actuator for motor operator valves. So now you know where to find the precautions related to mechanical installation of the ICAT-B. You know which valves can be used with the different ICAT-B models. You know what is included in the ICAT-B box when unpacking it. You know how to mount a new ICAT-B O-ring on the valve top. You know how to orient and locate the ICAT-B correctly. And finally, you know how to mount and fix the ICAT-B on the valve top. All this ensuring a correct and safe system operation. Please check out the other online video about ICAT-B electrical installation. Have a look at the other online learnings about the new generation Danfoss iCAT-B actuator for motor operator valves. Thanks for watching.